live on my headphones. Check one, two. Turn volume down so I'm not giving crazy feedback. It should be live already, but let me double check. Check, check, one, two, check, check, public. Check, check, one, two, check, check. Yeah, we're live. All right, guys, we're live. We are live from Patasco Bicycles in Elkridge. What do you do? Here with Donald and the crew. What's up? All right, so let me put my phone down because I'm like, <laughs> I get I get distracted more than anybody. I hope everyone is having a wonderful afternoon, a Friday afternoon. And um, we got a special live streaming for you guys. So welcome. We are live on um, Black and Tan, uh, 0 0.0075 Faster. Yep. And we are also live on DMV MTV, uh, Facebook and Instagram. We're everywhere. We're everywhere right now. Because this is an important day. This is a, this is a great day. This is a great day for both of us. It's a good day for me. I think an even better day for Elvis. Before we get into the video, um, I'm going to get a little emotional here, dude. That's cool. And I, don't, and I don't think you expected this because I've been writing for 10 years. We know each other for a couple of years. And this is the first year. Thank you. This is the first day, year, that I do an unboxing for my own bike. Yeah. For a new bike. That's, that's sick. <laughs> that's really cool. That's cool. So this is Elvis's. He's had you've had plenty of bikes. I had you plenty had, of bikes. You've had a lot of bikes. But this is the first time that I'm getting a a brand new bike, brand new components, wheels, everything else. I bought secondhand. That's a big deal. So That's a big deal, especially for someone that I mean, you're used to dealing with a lot of quality stuff. A lot. Of, I don't know if you guys know, but Elvis Elvis rocks some pretty nice stuff. <laughs> um, and now 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 you get the um. Get to unbox your own. We get to unbox our own. Do want to give a shout out to Patasco Bicycles because we built a relationship with you and uh, with Patasco Bicycles and Dano. So thank you so much no. for making this happen. No, thank you. Thank you. So I, a lot of people don't know Elvis has been uh, taking care of our social media. And uh, whenever you see like our podcast or you see something going on from the shop and it looks really good, <laughs> that's Elvis. If you see stuff that looks like it was filmed on uh I can't like an old camcorder. That's me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Elvis has been really helping out a ton. Thank a lot you. of the a lot of the Patapsco uh, clips in um, Instagram sales and things like that. That's all Elvis. He's been doing a lot of that for us in the last like I'd say about three four months. Three or four months, yeah. Yeah. So you know, he he works here at the shop, and that was so he was able to get a great deal. Me and him both through. Uh, the industry does this thing called an EP. It's an industry pur uh, purchase, um, and we get special deals on certain things. And there are two bikes that came up that were almost too good to be true, so we had to test the waters and see if we can get these bikes. So, you want to tell them what yours is? Um, let's just let them see on the unboxing. Okay, I, I think it. that we already gave it away by the title of the of the thumbnail but uh let's get to it yeah let's do it we got vj in the house we're gonna switch the audio guys uh stand by Let's see. Let's do another quick test to make sure that everyone can still hear us. Um, just switch microphones. Hear us. Um, just, yeah. 
Okay, cool. So take me here. So for those that have been seeing some of the content lately, uh, we've been posting a lot of work. This is going to have to do with gravel. So let's get to it. <clears throat> You guys know that I'm definitely going to work on this field. Yeah, so this one. And this is mine. Nice. So Elvis is rocking an S Works. And I am rocking a Pro. So the two bikes that we decided to go with are. Uh, are Rubens, specialized Rubens. They're the SL8 Rubens, which is a new design for specialized in the Rubens this year as far as geometry, tire size, and things like that. So, um, yeah, let's get to it, man. Let's see what's up. Yeah, one of the main reasons that I, I'm moving away from, not moving away, but like kind of like doing more gravel now, so this kind of gives you the option for both to where we can do gravel 100 and we can still do it on the road 100 so all right see the moment of truth this is like reading this is not like no this, this is real is real the unboxing. Unboxing. <laughs> so i, I kind of know i think i know how the color of mine looks but i'm not like oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, see, that's what I like about it because I thought it, I knew it was close to this color. But um, I'm going to let you unbox yours too, Elvis, before I pull mine out of the box. We'll pull them out kind of together. Let me get it on this side because I have you on that camera. I'm gonna yeah. I, wow. I, thought, I knew it was this color. Oh, but I thought it was, I thought it was a little different. And I'll explain what I thought was different about mine. I don't know if you knew these, but I'm colorblind. Are you really? Sick? So I don't know if you're gonna. No, well, let me... to me, to me it looks green. Okay, to me it looks green. It it, it is. That's good. What about yours? What color does yours look? It looks green. Your yours looks green. Yours is pink. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's helpful. <laughs> no, all right, fine. It's not. There's a lot of things that are very shiny in here, dude. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff. Let's pull them out. Let's all go right. pick one of the colors. Hold on. Let me zoom out. Because we are we are the uh, the uh, narrators and also the uh, yeah. so doing a little bit of everything. All right, Do we pull everything out. Yeah, pull, grab it. So grab it by the wheel like oh, this from the wheel, and it'll, yeah. it'll pull everything right out. Okay. Once time you go to let's do it. So. There it is. So I went with the pro. And uh, give give people an idea of you can't see pop pull up. Uh, give people an idea of what we're dealing with is at retail that's fourteen thousand dollars at retail. This one's eight thousand five hundred dollars at retail. I want to, I, not not a real comparison because, like I said, there's a there's a lot of reasons that people would pick the S Works okay. over the Pro. Uh, most the biggest reason is going to be weight. Okay. So I'm thinking off the top of my head before we weigh them. We'll, we'll probably get to the weighing also, but before we weigh them, what do you think of someone that it's like like in my case, right? I go through through bikes just for the same reason that I didn't want to do service, like. I try to change my bikes every year, year and a half. Does the S works hold more their value than another model? No. Or is the same? No. You're gonna so on a higher price bike, when you say if you bought a bike that was twenty thousand dollars if you knew, you're not gonna get fifty percent of that value back at, at when it's sold used, right? right? Very few people so at fourteen thousand, say if I if you got back seven thousand, which is fifty percent. That would probably be a good value. Okay. Now, at a lower price point, the lower you get, the more the mar the higher margin 
you'll get back when you resell it. The really expensive bikes are hard to hard to sell used because you're still buying a used bike for seven thousand dollars, right? You can find something new. For you that. can find something nice and new for them, right? So will you be able to recoup the money back that that you put into it normally with a with a a high end bike like that? No, at retail you're not going to get close to retail for a used one, okay. right? So say you can probably get for a $14,000 bike look between on a high end or a very high end and with the, someone looking for that specific bike, you might get nine, but it's going to be more realistic somewhere around the 50% March mark. Yeah. So at 14, you'll probably get like uh, seven back. And that's on something because you got to remember you're investing that kind of money on something that you're not going to get warranties with, right? right? You got you're the original not, owner. You're not the original owner. You're not going to get warranties with it. You're not going to, there's a lot of things that go into it. But, um, you know, so on a lower price point, you tend to get more back when you look at it. So at this $8,000 bike, $8,500 bike, I could probably do 6000 back, okay. you know, for or, a or, year, or, in a year, in a year, like $5,000, $6,000 for this bike, if it's in great condition, right? And then obviously conditions also make prices jump down or go up, right? Depend upon, and and it also depends on how rare is a certain bike. So if you got a, a limited edition bike, one hundred percent, you could get more for a limited edition bike if you find the right person that's willing to buy. It. At the end of the day, they're only worth what people are willing to pay for. And so, sure. if you're really in the market, yeah, well, this will be for sale. Just kidding. Yeah, Low yeah. mileage. In a, in a, in a, that's about the chat is saying only yeah. only written on Sundays. I don't think Elvis believes you. That is <laughs> some uh, splush MTV. Uh huh. Uh, that's a sweet ride. Perks we. Uh, someone said nice hoodie. Yeah, yeah. The new hoodies. The new hoodies. Yeah, yeah. So, so just to let people know, uh, Rob Stroh is my business partner. He does pretty much ninety percent of or a hundred of the. Uh, the hoodies, the t-shirts, and things like that, that's all Rob. And Rob uh, got tired of looking at the employees in busted up hoodies that were too old. So, <laughs> so, so he like, ended up, uh, he got us new, got us new, uh, new merch. Sweatshirt, sweatshirts and, and t-shirts for employees. So, so they're not, they're not available for sale here yet, but if enough people want them, we can make it happen, I'm sure. All right, so before we get it further, I did notice that I thought there was like a little shock inside here and there's nothing. In there. No, no, there's not. It's not a shock inside there, but that's it's really hollow and it clamps far down into the seat tube that gives you your flex inside right. there. So it's not a shock. It just actually has a lot of seat tube flex. All right. So where do we start? You're, you're, you're all right. So, here. so first of all, what, what, uh, what we did was is I thought this color was going to be the, I thought the shade was going to be the same, but I thought it had much bigger flakes in it. Okay. This one, this one doesn't have. It's not even the the flakes inside the paint aren't nearly as much. Maybe once we take it out of the sun, you can see it more. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. All right. So let's bring let's bring the the benches over the the work stands over and we'll we'll start building these bad boys. All right. We're gonna go on commercials, guys. Make sure you watch all the from all these sponsors. <laughs> All right, you're going to have, you want to make sure that we're in frame. I think we're good. Yeah. So. Actually, let me set up the camera more.
This is my own menu. I get, I get this one. That's yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what the cool thing is? So you got a, uh, you got an S Works. Our manuals are the same. Uh, you don't, get, you don't get a special manual. That's the same. There is no S Works manual to clean my S Works. No, 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 this it's yes, it's just pretty much the same manual that I get. Same bar tape. Well, I get bar tape. Works. Are you gonna put? Are you? The question is, Elvis, are you putting reflectors on? I, yeah. I like to be safe. <laughs> it's safety <laughs> first. <laughs> All right, so this is the first thing you're going to need to put in your bike. Okay. All right. So we're going to put that in. Oh, this is cool. They give you a whole bunch of. Uh, I'm going to put this in the video. Give you a whole bunch of little mounts for like your your Wahoo, your GoPro. Yeah. You would let me let me uh, let me clarify that. Um, so Elvis. They give you a lot of little mounts with your bike. Okay, sorry guys. The Pro doesn't come with the Garmin mount off the front that that his does. Oh, yeah. So as you can see in my my little my little uh my little stash is <laughs> yeah you my stash is bigger. You definitely have more stuff in yours than I do. So yeah, I don't get those uh, I don't get those those perks. Um, they should include, since you're getting two batteries, they should make one that has dual charge. You can buy those separate from uh, SRAM now. We have them here in stock, so okay. uh, you can buy them separate. Maybe we get a, maybe we get a sponsorship today for a charger. Right, right. So see how I'm going to, I'm on, on the back of this part, so you want to grab that out. I'm going to put grease on the back of it. Okay. Just on the back, not on the front. And which yard did you get that? It's in there. In this one? Yeah. I don't understand why they gave me all oh, because this mount goes inside of the uh well, on the front of the handlebar. You can have this if you want. No, it's like one or the other. No, hand. no, I'm sorry, I, I don't deserve it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm <laughs> not an expert. I'm not that expert guy. You know. So we were talking about it. So some of the things that you get, the perks that you get with the S works because the S works is. Five, almost five thousand dollars more. So I, I need to save all of this, right? Because all of this is S works. Oh, no, no, that packaging is the same. Yeah, you don't get actually you don't get you don't get anything better with the packaging. I got scammed. So this is once you get the grease on. I'm we're gonna to get it open this out. So we're gonna so on the back side of that, you're gonna put grease on. Like also that. explain to people because I always see this on video, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're doing like for me, I'm a rookie, of course. You're doing one type of grease for the little screw, and then you're doing something else here. Yeah, so yeah, this looks like grease too. This is fiber grip. So fiber grip is basically a grease that has like fibers in it, right? It feels like sand. Okay. Um, so what this does is because you're dealing with carbon fiber and you can't put down a lot of torque on things, if you don't use this grip, it actually things will slide when you when you torque it down the spec. So this stuff will allow you to use much lighter spec as far as your torque is concerned, but give you extra grip so your seat post won't fall down. And I just take some with my finger and I rub, rub it on the on the both sides of this guy just like that and then that part just on the back side not on the front because it has grip on the front if you feel there it has like its own fiber okay. right it does so on the back so it doesn't squeak and creak you put a little bit of grease on it like this and that's just going to keep it from making noise when it's in your frame And by the way, I like to keep all my tags so people know. Like that. your hat? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's the way you should rock. So, mm -hmm. then you're going to have a bush, a, a, foot, a seal like this. Okay. And if you look at the way that it goes on, it will match the, the shape of the seat post. Mm -hmm. 
probably should have did that after we put the fiber grip on, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, you can do this button. Just like that. Okay. So now with your frame, this part. Oh, I just see that there sits inside your frame. You can put your seat post in first. Oh, and then it drops. And then drop this right down behind it. It's going to be a four mil. Let's get this show people over here. Also, I gotta move this thing up so we can tie it. What's that? Yeah, so drop that, drop your post in first and then slide that behind. What you're doing? Mine is sticking out. Oh, you have stainless steel bolt on yours too. You heard that, guys? I mean, I know that the, the so your stem, so yeah, it's, it's not so good. Yeah. tighten this guy up just a little bit, just to put it in the stand. And then we figure out the mesh. Yeah, we'll figure it out after we're done building. I always did this wrong. I always took the tire. So you can take the whole thing out. Yeah. Take the whole thing out, put it on in the stand like this. And now it's all one unit and you can start to try to un unbox it and unwrap it. Ooh, this is better. It's not nice. So, so far, the differences that I noticed are obviously you have the wheel set on mine is the. C, mine are the Terra, the Terra CL. Should we do it the other way? Like turn it around. No, I think I think this is this is the way to go because if not, our backs will be towards everybody. Um, the Terra CLs are on mine, and you have the Terra CLX. Okay. Mine have mine have DT Swiss three hundred and fifty hubs. Okay. And you have two hundred and forty hubs on yours, which are a lighter hub. Um, you also have ceramic bearings in yours, where mine have like conventional bearings. Okay. So everything on your bike, for the most part, is going to come with like ceramic bearings and things like that. Where this comes with more conventional bearings. Okay. Uh, your frame is going to be a a fact twelve R. Where it'll say it right here. Yep. Where mine is going to be an eleven. So. The differences between the FAC 12 and the FAC 11 is that your frame is going to have the same stiffness as mine. The frames are going to feel the same. Only you're going to have, you're going to use less material to make yours as, as stiff and as strong. So I have to use more material because my carbon's not as good as yours oh, to see. make my frame as, so with that, with that being said, your frame is going to be lighter than mine. Okay. I thought it was just one arm. It's not just one arm. No, that's the difference between 11 and 12. Oh. <laughs> so. So you want to grab a pair of cutters. And we can just start taking these uh Table ties are off. Um, any zip ties, save them all because Matt will get mad if we throw them away. Oh, really? These uh, these are. Oh, these are the handlebars here. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's this? An extra one. Let's see if uh. So we are going black and tan tires, right? 
We are definitely doing black and tan tires. Tires can get here in time. Because those there. make you faster. Yeah, I mean, even if it's a little bit, if you're gonna if you're gonna lose a race and you and it's really close and you've only lost by one second, or it's you because know, yeah, it's because you didn't have black and tan tires on. You're gonna hate yourself for it. So, so do yourself a favor. Always rock up black and tans. Use black and tan coat to make you faster. So I started with my handlebar. Uh, oh, you too. Okay. I want to see what did you get? Did you get anything different than my, my bars or your bars? I think we're think we're the same. Yeah. Yeah. So these are S Works bars. So mine did come with S Works bars. Do you want to train and make it like? Oh, I have something that belongs to Elvis on my bike, and I have something that belongs. It'll be like it's sentimental. It, it, it could be, could be. Right? Here, let's do that. Right, just do it. That was special. Mine, that was yours, small, yours, yours feels like <laughs> that was the moment. That was the moment, guys. Live. <laughs> All right, so let's not let's not do the frame though. Yeah, we'll have to do that with the frames. All right, so we're gonna do Another thing, I think because mine is the pro, I think I get the, we both get the new, um, yeah, the new uh, new shock. Yeah, it's called the Future Shock yeah. 3.0. So let me do a close up on that so people can see it. Oh yeah, it feels it definitely feels smoother. That feels smoother for sure. Uh, just tell people a little bit what, what that's all about. The so, Future uh, Shock. So what you get with the Roubaix is all the Roubaix models are going to come with what they call a future shock this it's basically a suspension here in the in the hand and some of the lower models don't get any kind of control on them this one we can lock it out or we can actually control the damp uh the compression um this one is the future shock 3.0 which is definitely smoother when i spin it in like the last year's version i don't know how it's going to feel until i ride it but just right now, I can already tell that this the dial is smoother. So we can lock ours out and make it like a conventional bike, mm -hmm. or we can open it up and have full sus that, that suspension working in the front. We're doing a hundred miles after we finish building the bike, so we can test the bike. Starting so we'll at, you know. yeah, starting as soon as we're done. We're not going to stop until we finish. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a real review, right? Yeah, and and then. We're going to do another uh, video of me moving out of my house after my wife picks me out for not being home. These stem it looks long. So, so you got an s work stem on yours. I have a standard stem. Okay. Your s work stem comes with tie bolts, titanium bolts. Titanium, and that's it? That's it. Everything else is going to be the same. And yours says s works on the top. And mine says specialized on top, but it's the same material. Same exact thing. Only difference. <laughs> the only difference is you have titanium. I think they're either titanium or stainless steel bolts. Okay, that's the only difference. All of yours have an F work seat post. It does. All of them come with F work seat post, and all of them come with F work handlebar. You missed the moment when we trade a handlebar today. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the color, man. I'm not going to lie. I like it. That was life mode, so we are going to be here. No, you got you to gotta treat, treat her like I like I did you when you called me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to lie. I know he knows I'm going to lie. Dude, I'm, I just had the... the so the, what kind of cassette we have? We have like a 30... This is a 12 speed 33? Yeah, so another thing is so. This is nice. Yeah, it better be. So my bike comes full um force. Force. The new the new force setup on this bike. It's complete force, uh access force. So access means it's 12 feet. Force is the level, and it's one level down from the highest end. While 
Elvison is coming with full red axis. 12 speed, highest in, highest level spec that you can get. Um, yeah, and that's, that bike's full, full red. Uh, but the time. gears, like the gear ratio isn't like meant to be for like climbing. Dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. So I don't know about you, Elvis, but I'm actually, I'm actually taking, um, one uh, by. I can't do one by and still have my power meter. So my power meter is in, built in on the cranks here. In the chain ring. On the chain ring. So I wanted to do, I want to go one by on this, but it looks like I'm going to, I'm going to be still, uh, have a two by set up on this one so I can keep the power meter because it's not worth me changing it to, to do that. This is my first time that I have power meter on a bike. Oh, really? Man, this is like this is like your first. This <laughs> the first time unboxing a bike for me, guys. On live, on live, too, on man. Live. Bro, all my bikes, I said at the beginning, all my bikes have been used always, secondhand bikes. So we're keeping this these tires for today, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll build the bike with these tires. So it comes with S Works. What are they? Probably Roubaix's thirty twos. No man, these are, these are, these are big tires. Partly read this. Yeah, it's the item. It's not very but we both have the cool thing is I have also they didn't they didn't cheat, cheat me down and give me some cheap uh tires. I got the first tires as well. So that's the new ports, right? The one you got? Yeah. Caliper looks so shiny. Ooh. So is it like a green or no? My mine is one hundred percent green. Like it's I would say uh some yeah, just green I guess. Nice uh so far it's kind of pearlescent. Hey, you know what I was gonna ask you, Donna? Are you gonna do ceramic coating on yours? Um yeah. Yeah, I'll pull, I'll pull it apart. So you have to take everything apart. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna take it down the bare frame. I'm just gonna take uh, the wheels off and maybe the maybe the cranks if I can't get to it. But yeah, I'm gonna ceramic coat the I'll ceramic coat the frame and the wheels because again, it being gravel, it's probably gonna end up getting dirty pretty quick. So. I'll set myself up for that later on. I was watching some videos online and it says that the actual, they're using the uh, technology from the engine. Yeah. So it's nice and um, the whole the whole rear end of this bike, if you look at it, this whole back part right here is a lot like the Athos, especially this this part here. And the Athos, if people don't know, the Athos was specialized it's like their super light hill climbing bike. It was their bike that, uh, with that, that, when it first was introduced, I believe it was the lightest production bike that you could buy. It looks like an SL6 frame, right? Uh, and why did you say that? Yeah, it does. It, it, it's a lot of people, that's why a lot of people, I don't think, gravitated towards the Athos as much because it doesn't look, it, it doesn't have integrated cables and things like that. So a lot of people were like, ah, that's a lot of money for something that just kind of looks like an older. Uh, S words, Darn. and that's what a lot of people are saying about this one too. Like to be new, why specialize it and put integrated? I think the biggest part about this not being integrated is because it has that suspension there, um, and I think it would have been hard for them to to integrate with that suspension movement that you get.
what I call uh, cut the toes in. Um, yeah, depends. On how, how you want your bike to look. I just if you want it to look if you want it to look clean, then yeah, we're gonna have to cut the hoses. I just don't want to be lighting light television. That's all right, I'll be doing it for you. <laughs> you see how the, the bars are the are the bars that come up? Uh, yeah, yeah, the bars have a, a rise in them. Again, so the Roubaix, it, the original intention of the Roubaix was their endurance bike. Okay. It was meant for riding longer, more comfortable. Um, they did they did race this bike, a, a version of this bike, in, um, in the pair of Roubaix. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was, to be honest with you, it was a different bike than it was sold to the public. The, right, the bikes that were raced in Perry Roubaix were the team editions, and those were basically tarmac geometry with a shock in it. Where. So you think they only changed the fork or something? Yeah, so the frames were different. The fork was the same. In the one that they raced in the Perry Roubaix. The one that I believe Steven uh, Sagan. Mm -hmm. He won. Peter, Peter Steven Seagal. Peter Steven Seagal. Seagal. <laughs> Peter Peter Seagal won uh, the pair of Roubaix on a on a Roubaix, but it wasn't the same as like these that were that were getting on the car today. Yeah, a whole bunch of sprays here, man. I don't even know what they are. So those go inside your future shock, so you can adjust the the spring tension on your future shock. So it comes stock with a middle one, and that's a lighter one and a heavier one. Are you going to adjust your shock or are you going to keep it as? I'm going to keep that the way it is for right now. My brother said, it looks like you're working faster. I'm working faster. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors. It's not true. We're actually going at the exact same speed. It just seems that way. I just, I'm just doing it for content, guys. Behind the scenes, Donald's going to... I'm going to take over. Don't, don't check all of this. 
So, so I have to put that little mount inside before I put the handlebars, right? Yeah, you're going to use that Garmin mount for sure. What's going on, man? So there's two, it goes inside here. What was that else? Is there a screw that goes inside of there? Yeah, let me show you. So, Tell the one this one through there. Okay. It's like a three. We're gonna take this part out of the video. <laughs> out of the final. Yeah. The final cuts. Yeah. It's gonna look it's gonna look like we 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 done this a million times. You know when you do this in editing, you can look at the manual and no one sees it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Right. I'm not I'm not tightening these down in spec guys I'm just making them snug after everything's all done I'm gonna go through the entire bike and actually use a torque wrench and tighten everything down to the right spec so for all for all the people that are watching and going man he's just cranking those things now I'm really not I'm actually uh doing it really loose my brother said that the bikes look sexy yeah these Mine too? Yeah, he said the bikes. He said plural. The, the bikes plural. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not in the video right now, Matt, so he couldn't have been talking about you. He's talking about you too. Oh. <laughs> so I'm still on the same screw for like half an hour now. Break up the glasses. Tell the viewers, how do you get the, uh, what's a good tip to get the same height on both? Uh, that well, was? on ours, we have a little cheater because it has a has hash marks right here that that have numbers okay and you just line each lever up with the same hash mark to make sure it's right and left but when i start off i actually start off with taking a ruler and going along the bottom of the of the handlebar here and making sure it's even here so i'll set one side up and then i'll use the hash marks to set the other side and that's and that's a preference, right? Yeah, the, yeah, it's one hundred percent a preference. It's like it gets you in the ballpark for just setting a bike up. Say if we're building a bike for the floor, or we're building a bike for a customer, it's just going to get you in the ballpark. You, we'll get to my handlebars in the next hour or two. <laughs> Let 
his handlebars is so like crazy. Go like crazy, like yeah. It goes like this right? for one era. Yeah, yeah. Or or for riding it. It's something that I want to work on 2024. Is that part of your uh resolution? Yeah. Resolutions. I will learn how to ride a wheelie on a bike in 2024. <laughs> Yeah. Learn together. Yeah, we'll, we'll all learn together. I, as you guys are learning how to ride wheelies, I've, I've given up on all my wheelie rides. After my last crash, crashing and burning at 50 years old is not not fun. I did a wheelie the first time that I went fitness. What's that? Yeah, man. Uh, you can do, how how long can you hold a wheelie for? So I can do it for like two seconds, and that's a good. I mean, I can ride. I ride. I can ride it till I get tired. A wheelie? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can ride it till I get tired. But here's the thing. I was. How much? Uh, I was talked into riding a wheelie at. Um, during Martin Luther King's birthday, we had a big ride out in D.C. And uh, I was riding wheelie there. And I looped backwards, landed on my back. And it hurt so bad that I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to ride another wheelie or not. That might be the last wheelie that I ride. And it la the pain was there in my lower back for about two months. Seriously, like, caused me issues. So, yeah, I'm all right with not riding wheels in. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but, yeah, I was almost known. If I was known for anything on bikes, it's probably riding wheels. I wasn't fast enough to do anything else to be known for speed, so... So do you think we have to do the cables or not? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut mine because they they look. I want to. I definitely want to look cleaner than that. Is that look at look at how much that's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna mess up your arrow. Yeah, and you know I gotta I gotta be arrow. It's all about arrow. It's all about arrow and data. Did you hey, did you did you record that data? No, then it didn't count. <laughs> I, I I am saying this that if if you get a KOM and you don't have proper data to support that it was real, then your KOM should be flat. No heart rate, no watts, flat. You know? It, my, brother, my brother said that I'm running the clock on the same screw up until five PM so I can just leave. <laughs> So no no <laughs> no you you got a K1 on your cell phone flat. You oh, know what flat? I mean? oh yeah. Why? Did you, you gotta have data to support your KOM. You can't just go around saying you got a KOM and it was done on your cell phone with all kinds of satellite drift. That stuff ain't cool. Right? Right, guys? Okay. That ain't cool. So you gotta have so only you're saying that only KOMs that are get with your with a computer account. Why we're gone? That's it. All right, five. To the end of the fishing ball. Five. I don't know if that's the case. Hey, I like. I like that these things are shorter. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to open that up though. Uh, to use a five. Say it too loud. Just no, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks, man. <laughs> what, why, why is your so, point about the, the, the KOMs don't count? KOMs with cell phones, man? Come on. Bruh. <laughs> what do you think, Gavin? I, I have a new generation. No. So you don't you, think it counts? It, because you could be, you could be uh, the, the teenage. You could have 
It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy. That's to the files right. and stuff. It's easy to mess with files. Yeah. It's not that. It's so not. I don't run. I don't run yeah. tubeless. No. No. I don't run tubeless. Um. On the road, but I am gonna run my all my gravel stuff is tubeless. It's gonna be tubeless. Yeah, for sure. Are you gonna make this on tubeless today? Oh yeah. Oh, you are. <clears throat> so first, I gotta get these. Mm -hmm. This is called. <clears throat> Let me submit. You can explain. Is that some? That's some knowledge right there. So they like right there. All right. Spoke protector. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold them up. Keep it spoke protector. We take those off. We throw those in the trash. That's what they're good for. That's it? That's it. Spoke protector. Take it off. I'm going to keep mine because it's going to make me faster. It won't. And it's going to keep my bike. Again, if that's what you should do. As a matter of fact, since you have an S-Works bike, you should 100% run all your reflectors. <laughs> run, run your spoke protector. Run flat pedals. Be flashy. Yeah, flat flat pedals. So, so we were talking about the things that were different between the bikes. And one of the things that I noticed, like I said, I was going out, the frames are, the frames, his frame's lighter. He has, his components are going to come one level higher than mine. His, all his hardware I've noticed is uh, stainless steel or titanium. His bear, his wheels are, are one level higher. Those are the, um, those are the CLX versus mine being the CLs. And uh, one thing you get with 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 rocking an S Works bike is you get a people people are going to assume when we were talking about it earlier whether it's good assumptions or bad assumptions. People are going to assume as soon as you pull up into the parking lot that. You're this or that. Like they're not going to give me the same look as they do with Elvis pulling up in the parking lot. So I, too, someone can pull up, and same person can have a regular uh, specialized Roubaix, and um, no one's going to think this, that, or another about him. He's going to have to either show that he's fast or, or you know, or whatever else. But well, my daddy bought me the bike. Or, yeah, well, see, so you uh, you pull up with an S works, and people are automatically going to start assuming whatever they're going to assume. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, "Oh, this guy is either fast, or this guy is that, or this guy is." You know what I mean? Like, you don't get that with a regular bike. I do get a lot of questions when they say my bike if I race. One hundred percent. I don't race. One hundred percent. You could just like really nice stuff, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but the perception is when you first pull up and you have an S works is that that you're probably fast or you ride a lot or whatever else, right? That's gonna be a five minute. Yeah. And I'm forgot, forgot. I mean, but you own two X works. Is that right? Yeah, I mean in, in what, what make you what make you go I know we had some conversation, but what made you go with the uh, with the pro instead of the S works? Since all of your bikes are S works. To be honest with you, I just started rocking S works stuff. Okay. I used to be so a guy named Vince Vaughn used to always tell me, "Oh, you got to get the S works. You own the shop. Why don't you have an S works?" And I used to tell him like because the resale, like I told you earlier, it's the resale value. Can you make sure that these are good and and the, and the price okay? Yeah. yeah. So what you want to do? Let's let's uh. Use a ruler, okay. and we're going to go from the bottom, and we're going to make this ruler this part. So this needs to come up, where that's even with the top. Okay, yeah. and that's going to start you off. That's going to be in a good starting position. That's kind of like a general. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pull this back all the way. Yeah. Out. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. That's, that's probably why I stretched the other yeah. end, right? So, <laughs> so it just goes in right here. And if you pull this up, you'll see it. Uh, uh, okay. So it's the one in the back that you pull back. Yeah, so you pull this up just so you can see where you where this is going. And then it'll go right there. 
just like that. So you say base of the so bottom. You level, you make sure that see it. there's a flat spot on this handlebar right there. Uh, so if you hold that on that flat spot, I, that was going to be my next question. How do you know that's level? So there's a flat spot there. Uh -huh. and on then all you, handlebars? Okay. Not all of them, but most of them. Just like that. So that's going to put you in the right position. And then now you can use this mark right here. See how they have all the marks? Yeah. To line that one up perfect uh, with this one. Okay. So now you know they're going to be perfectly even. So that is 25, uh, 20. I think I don't, I'm not going to do the brakes on mine since I'm getting the other handlebar. Then I will have to redo the cables on that one, right? No, you won't have to, have to redo. No? Because mm -mm. everything is still going to be set up about the same. It's just going to be... What about the inside? How do you do that? Like, if they are on the same... That depends on... That's personal. That's the person. You can I, do that even after the tape? Yeah, yeah. Yep, you can rock them in or, in or out after the tape. Oh, you meant you didn't know if you want to cut your cut your uh cut your brakes. Right. If I'm gonna get the other I mean that's that's not a bad idea not to cut them. Do it after. And do it, yeah, do it afterwards for sure. So you said we are going to go with forties, right? Yeah, if they fit. We'll find out. It, it, look at how much space is between your um your fork on the front of this bike. Right. It's huge. <clears throat> you, uh, you 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 cut? Did you cut it off? Yeah. Why? You see how I took mine off? I just took the wheel off. I did. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. You took the whole. Is it easy to just pull out the cassette on this ones? Yeah, because they're they're DT Swiss, so everything just pops right off. Kind of like industry night. Yep, a lot like it. Or what I call them in the street nine. In the street. Have you ever been on their headquarters? I haven't. Pretty much. I think I'm one of the few people that <clears throat> haven't been down there. So what I was thinking is that I'm a, we're going to make a, I mean, we already have a chat. And I think I'm gonna make like a promotional flyer to where anyone that wants to join some of the gravel rides that we're gonna do on the longer side during summertime, mm -hmm. you can just post them there. Have like a sketch of everything that's gonna be coming up. This is like straight up an endurance bike. Oh, yes, forty-six thirty-three in the front. I think it's a 35 in the back. Can't see. 34 or 35, some, somewhere around there. Yeah, so no, those are ceramic bearings because 30 you, don't, you don't have to touch the wheel and it'll spin just eat so easily. I'm surprised to be a 2024 they didn't make it compatible with the uh, new xx 
Uh, sharing XX. Right. Some of the Santa Cruz are compatible with the uh, the with the group set with the new mountain bike group set. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can run you can run transmission on the gravel bike. Yeah, I guess this is technically not. <laughs> no, it's still it's they they say it's it's still a road bike. Right. That could be used for what they call light gravel is what they're saying. Right. But if you look at their advertisements and things like that, whenever you see people riding it, they're all on they're all on um they're all on uh gravel. You know what I mean? So, my brother said some of the bikers be stealing K lamps with the bottles. Oh yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of joking about that, but not. <laughs> and I say kind of because I'm I'm really not joking about it, but I am joking about it. I think I'm done. No. No, but it's gonna be more taste. I mean, I can never get it right. You can go for it. Yeah. yeah. Super. Do, do, do it the cheating way. Do it the way that I do. What's the cheating way? That little, put that little strip behind it. Don't try to figure eight the the bars. Oh, the little thing here. Yeah. Put that little little part behind it. It's okay. To, it's okay to be. We all can't take take bars like Matt Matt does. We all can't be perfect, but man. Didn't want to get them dirty if I was going to. You didn't want to get them dirty? Yeah. Because I'm going to put the other ones on. Why, why don't you tell everybody what you're getting? Well, I'm switching the um, the handlebars to have the integrated specialized roller. So, hopefully it looks... Think it can look back. What I'm afraid of is this right here. You see how this lines up perfectly with this? Yeah. Like it looks like. I think it's going to look the same. Matches. I think it's going to look good, man. Let's go. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm here with you. Yes. All right. So you do half here. So yeah, I go up a half or maybe a little more than. Half off. Half, half off. So you want enough so you can tuck it in the end of that bar. If you're gonna run yours that way. See, I'm gonna run mine. I'm gonna run do a reverse wrap on mine. Oh, you so in? Yeah, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. Oh, from here? Yeah. So I don't use tape at the at the end, so it looks nice and clean. A lot of people with arrow bars, that's the way they they tape. Oh, you don't use you don't use tape here. I don't use no. I do. I'm gonna use tape from here. I'm gonna use bar tape from here. But you know how you end it with a with tape going around it and holding right. it. Mine's gonna be nice and clean. There's gonna be no tape holding it, and it's gonna run here. And what's gonna hold it is the bar plug at the end. I want to see that. What's that? Yeah, you should do mine, Donnie. I think I think we should have we should have Matt come over as a as a guest on on and wrap wrap yours live. We have a special guest. I don't know what it took. Why don't we do that? Learn. Can you do that, Matt? Can you wrap his bars? I don't know how to wrap his Come on. I can. Why don't you watch Matt? Matt wraps bars really, really good. Do I remove this little sticky whatever? Uh, yeah. I just, I just take it over because it's going to be in there. Okay. Do you want Matt to wrap this? I can do this shit. Okay. Sorry. Some fellas in debut debut shot. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'll too hard. You gonna be alright over there? He <laughs> lost. He lost, lost your chance. I gotta get back in the car a little bit. He lost the shot out.
So you're gonna do tubeless today, or you're gonna wait? Uh, I'll probably do tubeless today. You're not going to wait until you get the new stock? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you guys want it? No. No. We have to do what we can do. Is that good to your standard? <laughs> it's not bad. bad. It's not it's bad. bad. It's totally not bad. This is like a lot of pressure done. But that's okay. I mean, like literally, that's this. This is this is good. So you want to keep taking that tape. If people are wondering what's going on, they're just going to take right. the right time. They can just watch us. It's only awkward because you made it. I'm sure they were thinking it. <laughs> I'm just happy to be doing this handlebar tape live. <laughs> without YouTube. Without YouTube's help. <laughs> So Sunday will be your first ride on it? Sunday, Sunday will probably think. be my first ride on it, yeah. That's just how it feels. Is this your first time riding a uh, Roubaix? No, I've actually owned a couple of them. Older style. And uh, that's what my wife's on right now, too. So she's on a Roubaix, F-Works Roubaix McLaren. That's what my brother is riding right now. That's the one you took to uh, that day that we did the uh, What, the, the McLaren? No, no, no. He's uh, riding the uh, regular Lupe. Definitely see that these tires, they, these take a much bigger tire. Wait, what? These, this new, the SL8 takes a much bigger tire. Yeah. Yeah, you can put a much bigger tire on this bike than you put in the old Lupe. Where's the tape though? The tape. Oh, it's right here, sorry. Oh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> what pressure would you write on your probably around 40 
which is definitely hot for some, but I, I'm not as light as the people that run much lighter. You can help uh, Matt grab another, bring that, and make sure that's checked out the way it's supposed to be checked. I need to get an impressive, I need to get a set line, I need to get a set line, I need to get a set line, I need to get a set line. Yeah, I need to get a set line. Yeah. You still need what? Impressive. The uh, air compression. Yep. You can you can unplug that compression um, You're gonna go along. Not bad. Not bad, but not good. <laughs> not bad. Got a little imperfection in there, but... A little bit, but that's okay. That, that's character. That's character? That's character is what they call that. Thanks, so. <laughs> I'm going to go cry after we finish this. No, don't you dare. See what our chat said. Dude, from the uh, like, if I'm looking at them right here, I don't see the difference. But from here, yours is lighter, lighter color. Yeah. Like if I look at it on the camera, right? Well, that's a problem. Like, like choosing, especially specialized. If you look at their stuff on computer and try to pick a a bike based on what you see on the computer, okay. oh, it's going to be bad. Because it, in my opinion, it always looks better in person, especially. Okay. You want to
You land like right in the middle of the other one. I try and get split it 50 50. Okay. But you still try to give a little angle, right? Yeah, angle. exactly. If you see me at the next for a friend doing bar just surprise. No, I won't be. Why, I won't be. My job I, I think. I think you have a future. I, you, think I, you heard that, guys? Yeah. I probably won't be doing YouTube anymore. It's going to be a professional bartender. <laughs> Who's that guy who used to work at the shop that Kate spars really good? Um, you mean Elvis? Yeah, yeah, I saw him the other day. On TV. My, my resume is just going to say bar, bar cake. Um, okay. Bartek specialist. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is that we have an open shot on the camera and no one can judge. I'm, yeah, that's true. Looks like I know what I'm doing. I can zoom in there real quick. No, thank you. Oh, oh, man. Man. I see what you look at how fast he's doing it, guys. So you put a lot of tension now? Oh yeah. Not not enough to obviously rip the the tape, but so see how Yeah, you're gonna do my handlebar tape. <laughs> Yeah, I used to hate doing bar tape. Yeah, but it takes you like a minute to do it. Now it does. Figure out all the ways that you can cheat things. But at first, like when you first start doing it, it's like anything else. It takes a takes a minute to learn. But everyone that, that does it online, it says to do it the other way. Yeah, they say they there's they they like to use the figure eight thing and this and that. But again, you you do you take. X amount of bars per day and this and that you try to figure out the ways that that are cleanest so you don't have to do it over again you only want to tape them once so you want to make sure that that, that the tape looks really good sometimes you only can tape them once not if you can undo it and tape it again oh that's so right you, so you have to go inside of that see how i'm going around so see right there, I don't want that to show. So that's not going to work for me. So what I'll do is I'll adjust it now to make sure that. Oh, you adjust that. I see. Everything is super clean and no bar. I don't want. I don't want to see any handlebar. And I look at it like I always just look at it like, all right, if this were my bike, which this is, but when I'm doing a customer's bike, I'm like, would that fly with me? Oh, so you don't do the whole loop weird thing around mm -hmm. that's what i was saying so see so when this comes down it covers everything up everything's going to look nice and neat i just want to make sure up here it's nice and covered see how that's showing right there yeah i don't like that so i'm going to pull this back up and i'm going to adjust it now i just want to make sure it looks like i said the way that i would want it to look on my bike Elvis, are you taking your bar tape off? Yes, yeah, so you can do it. <laughs> Wait, let me turn the mics on and say that again. Because <laughs> I did that. Everything that I have seen is that weird loop around the, the uh, figure eight. Yeah. And, and that's, just, that's just, just like the old school. That's the way everybody was taught how to do their bar tape. But it does look weird though. It looks like a little. It, one thing it does is it kind of bulges the bar tape around that area. It makes it right. thicker than it needs to be. And it complicates things for a lot of people. Yeah, because then when you go in and then out, you come back 
I'm back to you. You get you got five people that do that 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 style of bar tape, and and half of them do it completely different than the next. Uh, Mark San uh, Sanders said they want to see your bar tape secrets. My bar tape secrets are all right here. <laughs> you have to have hands that have gone through a lot of trauma. <laughs> In order for you to be good at bar taping, your hands have, have to your hands have, have to seen some stuff in life. Like Oh, wait, where did you get that little piece from? Did you escape with it? No, I cut it off a of, of part of the I bird. I barely have bar tape to get it to the end, and you're cutting off bar tape? See, that's another thing. You're going to have more bar tape when you do it my way. So, no tape at the top, nice and clean all the way through, all even, on all the way down. And when this goes down, there's not going to be any handlebar showing. So then I plug it with the bar tape. This guy will hold it in. It's like that. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to undo mine because I think the viewers want to see another bar yeah, yeah. Of, of course. So course. we're going to undo mine for uh, training purposes. Just for training. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but just see how, how it was done. Because they want to see the secrets of bar <laughs> There you go. No, no, nothing showing. Everything. No tape up top. Reverse tape. So, is this the new shrimp that these things are shorter? It's like the other ones that I have are long. Oh so yeah. Cover like. No, it's not long. Is it spot? Yeah, it's spot. So, first thing I start off with is I take your take the the bars down. So this I take your cables down. Now, Greg, we're gonna we're gonna cut these and we're gonna retake these in a little bit, in like next week. He it, it is, yeah. The down is I would take to the handlebars first. I'm not gonna do two minutes today because we're gonna change the tires, and I'm not where I'm riding anytime soon. No, I don't think so. I already went to this is too late for me. <laughs> but I'm. I am going to try to ride someday. My I don't think the tires are going to be in until next middle of next week. Oh, really? Yeah. So. So. Where did they didn't give us bottle cages? No. Nah, well, with, with your bike, you would think it would give you some bottle cages, all kinds of things they would give you. But the mountain bikes come with bottle cages. So, yeah, you do. That's true. This is true. All right, guys, here it comes. All right, so I'm going to start it. You don't have no tape on this end. No tape on this Not end. Not even after. Nope. Nope. So I'm going to start it so where it's nice and tight, and I'm going to wrap it over top of it and hold it down with, it, with the right. see how it's holding itself down. And I go here. That's so much. It looks so much easier than the other one. It is. Does it matter which way you go, if you go this way or that way? It's, some people they say yes, and other people say no. Let's go start going over top of the bar. Let's make okay. each one look the same. I think the uniform that way is more important than, than anything else. Harry said Thursday is going to be nice. Maybe we can do a good 40 or 50 miles who was that my brother yeah let's 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 do it yeah th wednesday and thursday is supposed to yeah. be really nice that's cool if anyone in the chat wants to join for a gravel ride 
Thursday or Thursday or Wednesday. So I'm gonna use the other end that I have here. We're covering up that silver part like that. And some bar tape actually comes with this part already. Cut I see, out. yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have we been on that? Uh, hour and 28. Hour and 28. And that goes fast, fast. Yeah. We still got to uh, ride 100 miles after this. Right. <laughs> and, and help me move out again. Yeah. Well, we have a kitchen in the back. You yeah. know, closet in there. Trust me, I'm going to be the first bike shop owner <laughs> to, to live in. in his bike shop to move in to move into his bike shop see out I, I was going i always go soft on the i, I was doing that wrong yeah so it was soft on you the, want it nice afraid. you want it nice and tight so it doesn't come undone There you go. Scissors. Scissors. I like to leave a decent amount at the end. Get in into the bar really good. Well, so you don't even have to worry about doing the angle cut. <laughs> Not at the end, because it's going to be all tucked into the bar. And then up top, you don't have to worry about the angle cut there either, because. Yeah. Mm. And the, the this is actually gonna hold it hold it all together. On some really depends on the, the client. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we actually use a little bit of super glue and, and really like get super detailed down here. Oh this uh... mm -hmm. but most people aren't that worried about it. You just you start working with people and you know the people that are really picky right. and you you have to do certain things for people that want it certain ways it's not naming names not naming any names because we are live <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of part, that's kind of part about like being in this like you end up with clientele and you know you know what they expect and you that's why they keep coming back to you because they know you already know what's going on do you think this bike can be used for um for racing cross uh, i mean cross uh probably not cross and only why i say probably not cross is because the bottom bracket height's not going to be that good uh, so you have lower bottom bracket height but any most most bikes that are gravel bikes i mean i can stick my whole hand yeah. inside this wheel that has so much clearance here all right, that's it's crazy the amount of clearance that it has. Um, I would definitely say this bike, it, it, I'm sorry, but it looks like it's designed more for gravel than it is for road. Yeah, right. With the amount of uh, tire spacing that it has on it. So that's like Specialized has the Crux, which is the gravel bike that could be used for cross racing now. Mm -hmm. It used to be the other way around. The Crux used to be their, their cross bike. Now it's their gravel bike that could be used for cross, is what they say. They have a dedicated gravel bike called the Diverge. And then they have, on the opposite end of that spectrum, they have these bikes, the Roubaix, which are road bikes that could be used for light gravel, is what they say. Right. Um, so technically, they have three different bikes that could be used for gravel, the Crux, the Diverge, and the Roubaix. You want to do the other side and match it? Oh, Lord. 
they have the crux and it's a totally different totally different uh, look than this one. Oh, yeah. So with the what you want to do is make sure your handlebars are straight inside the inside the frame. Right? And then you're gonna measure from the stem to the end of here so they both line up exactly the same. So the exact same way. The handlebars are seven. Okay. Mine are mine, more center. Oh, you have the last one, center. They look it, but if you take a ruler and measure it, or if they have a lot of these handlebars, also have hash marks for the handlebar that you can look in like to a little window mm -hmm. and see it as well. I can I figured that this the center um, specialized would be center, the specialized logo on the handlebar. Yeah, so if there's a specialized logo on the handlebar and you can see it through that window. 100% that's going to be sent. But in this case, is getting colored by the... See how you can't see it through? Right. That, so it's a lot of times in that case, just measure these two hash marks that they have here mm -hmm. to, the, to the outside of your stem and make sure that they're both the same width and you'll be good to go that way also. Later, man. Again, it just depends, and it depends on who. Some people are super sensitive to that, and some people don't care. Especially if someone that knows like how they like their stuff, you know. That's like right. Geometry and. people look at my bike and can automatically tell that my handlebars aren't straight without even, without even being on my bike like i said some people are really sensitive to that and other people can care less all right so i'm going right yep okay yep you want to do them both the same way No, you went in, right? For mine, I, I did yours the same way that you were taping it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Like that. Then. So, up and over towards you is the way. See, you're doing yours exactly the way that I did. did oh, so I have to go this way. Yeah. So, if you look at it, this one goes this way. So up and over. So okay. this way, this wrench, just like you're doing. Perfect. Exactly. Take that and put that underneath because you're going to see that part. Gotcha. So you want this part to start here because that's going to hide anything that's not covered up. Okay. You want to see that nice, that nice edge there. Okay. So make sure you measure from here to there. So it's the same way. So it's the same way. <clears throat>
We got bikes built, bike builds, and everything. We got lots of shit to do. Um, I think we actually have we have three bikes that have four customers. Built. So this one has to be built, this one has to be built. And then we just got the whole load of um, Rocky Mountains that aren't necessarily need to be built. The customer stuff need to go before those. It's a long All right, we're going to look at it to close on. What's that? Look at for far away. Or final. No, it doesn't look bad. Make it tight. Oh, make it tight in it? Yes, but it doesn't look bad. It really does. Like down here, see how it's, it's loose like a wizard sleeve? Yeah. Keep, keep it up. Make it tighter there. Research <laughs> sleeve. <laughs> I've been waiting for the moment that I could actually say that. I think I said it to you last week, Tom, Matt. 
The wizard sleeve thing? I think I'm going to be short on tape, so I'm just going to cut the carbon <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, when, whenever you're down. Jeez. Whenever you're um, short on, on bar tape and you're running short, just cut the handle. Just cut the handle bar. <laughs> You imagine if you do that. What do you think? I've is? seen I've seen some crazy stuff. I'm not not that crazy, thank goodness, but I've seen people do some crazy stuff with their You have built on like crazy like custom builds and everything. Like what's one build that like you always remember? You're like, man, that was a nice build. Like a nice build? Like a custom bill or like a special edition bill or I mean I think I can a recent memory is that uh, that limited East edition Athos. Okay, with the uh, Apollo component. Yeah, Campanello. Campanello. It was it was uh so that bike was uh I think how many were made? Three three hundred Matt? Three hundred only three hundred of those bikes were made. And I built number one. The first one ever made, ever built to the pub for the public, I built the first one. Campanello, uh, Athos, limited edition. Right. That's a sick bike. That's the uh, marble. Uh, yeah, right, right. Weighed, weighed like 13 something. They still have it in stock? Do yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, it's like $15,000. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a tough one. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. Very long, extensive common So there's a long comment. Yeah, or tape or something. Let's see. All right. Just did mine this week. I was listening to the podcast and was saying how So, all right. So there's a comment on on there that's that's talking about like how how fast the pros can change the bar tape and and, and things that and and one of the things that the look pro like white bar tape looks so good on the bike. Shout out to Paul. Yeah, it looks it looks ridiculously good on on a bike at first. But if you rock white bar tape, you better learn how to tape your own stuff, and you better tape it frequently because I can guarantee you, it don't, it's only going to be a handful of rides before you'd be changing your white bar tape anyway. So it looks ridiculously pro. It looks really good at first, but man, it, it goes it goes down the drain really fast. Oh no. That is. Go through some adjustments real quick.
So I already adjusted the rear. Oh, we have already adjusted the rear brake, already adjusted the limit screw, already adjusted the beat limit on this. Uh, front's fine. Now I need to adjust my front brake so it's not rubbing like crazy. So it's SRAM, so it's going to take a Torx instead of an Allen. Oh, uh, the uh, caliper? Yeah. Need to center it. Actually, this is my first time riding 56. All my bikes have been 58. Yeah, but there's a good reason uh, that we we both decided to go one side. Same with me. On my road bike, I'm riding a 58. On this bike, I decided to give it a little more a little more room. Mm -hmm. So one of the advantages of these bikes is the amount of flex that you get in the seat post. It's actually it's actually built into the design of the frame. So the seat post on these bikes, they, they flex back and forth. Right. Um, that's why that, that seat clamp is so far down inside there, and that's why it's all hollow around the seat post, so the seat post can flex either way. So if we did a 58 frame, we're going to have, it's going to be stretched out a little bit more, and we're going to have less seat post shown, which means it's going to be less flex, not as comfortable. Okay, so we want more seat post showing to give us more flex and and a little more standover height because we're going to be riding maybe in some rougher gravel and things like that. You want a little more room around your bike when you're riding in the rough stuff and an extra and a little more seat post to absorb some of that, give you some more flex, which gives you comfort. So 56 on the road and uh, I mean 56 on the, on the gravel, 58 on the road. I, most people can ride two sizes. Right, you got to pick with, between those two sizes. You have to pick which one feels most comfortable. Perfect size for me would be a 57. If they made a 57 centimeter boom, that would be perfect for the road, but they don't. So, for years, I rode a 56, then I jumped up to a 58. Between the two, I felt more comfortable in the 58, so I stopped. That's how I feel with the, with the 58. I feel a little bit stretched out, yeah, yeah. So, and with the 56, you probably feel a little tight. So a 57 would be like the perfect bike, right? Ooh. And now I get to straighten out the handlebars. And that looks nice. You know, like I was telling them, it's hard to tell with uh, Specialized on their website how it's how it's actually going to come out, and how it actually looks. It's going to look completely different. So, uh, right, that's what I was telling you. Yeah. Let's see. That. Uh, uh, pace. Okay. Of course. And he said I should have done this before. Before you yeah. yeah. Hey Dave. Uh, what what's our conclusion on those black wheels? What point wheels? The ones that we have that's the set are supposed to be setting us uh it's kind of actually it feels really comfortable. Yeah.
Mm, the rigid is not really rigid. Nah, it still, it still gives you a little bit of a little flex. This, I guess, this is minus maybe? Oh no, my, my it feels pretty tight. Really? Yeah. Push down on yours? Oh no, you ain't. Oh no, I guess I added and push down as hard as you pushing that. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty tight, but I wonder if one of those springs would, would be more would be tighter. Do you want it tighter? tighter? I want it tighter, yeah. But you haven't ridden it yet. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that decision after I ride it. Dude, this is I want to see what this is super light. This is light. I'm going to tell let's weigh mine first. <laughs> let's weigh mine first. And then, so you got to put your batteries on. Yeah, I already have my batteries. Did, are, did, were you able to prepare them and ship it? Yeah. Not to perfection, but. Okay, we'll make sure it's dialed in. How do you torque the bottom? So you have to use this, in, this extension. It does look a lot smaller than the big PA. Like I can see the difference. Oh yeah. But then again, I feel like this this frame is like a little more compact than the other one. Yeah. I mean, we in truth be told, we might end up having to get longer stems, a little longer stem, or something like that to dial it in. All right, so. Specialized Roubaix Pro. Moment of truth. I say 17. Okay. <laughs> what did I say? 17, 17 pounds, 13 ounces. For the Roubaix Pro. You want me to do you want me to guess yours? Yes. Oh, this is a lot lighter than mine. Right? <laughs> this is, I feel like it's this is lighter. Light. It's way lighter. And you didn't even go tubeless yet. Not tubeless yet. This is lighter than my. And this is six. 15. This is 15.5. I don't think it's on the 15s. I'm going to say 16, 16.5. It, it's barely, it's barely, it's oh, yeah. barely 15. Dude, no one cares about that. Much lighter now. Super low. And it's the best <laughs> tube. It fix it up. It's like it. There's no way it's on 15. Yeah, 16. It's almost up. It's without it being tubeless. Do you think on tubeless will be 16? It'll be 15 something. That'll Dude, it's 16. It's 16 pounds, 7 ounces. With tubeless, it's tubeless. It's going to be. Well, all right. So let's be fair. We're not. We're weighing without pedals. Without pedals. Bottle cages. Without bottle cages. We're bearing. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, at, at bare minimum right now, and it's already a pound lighter than mine. I think with the new handlebars will be a six a fifteen. With the new handlebars, are going to be a little lighter for sure. Yeah. And once you go tubeless, it's going to be lighter. Oh. So those two things are are definitely going to make it lighter. You have car, your your saddles, carbon saddle, uh, titanium bolts, and and nicer stuff on it. Your your group completely. I forgot what the total difference in weight in the group was, but it's like, it's a decent amount. Yeah, every part on his bike, every single part on his bike is lighter than mine. Per component, per, per, per component. Except for the handlebars and the, the seat posts. It's all the same. It could be lighter than actually. It could be lighter, but it would think so? It could be lighter, but it wouldn't work as good. But it wouldn't work as good. And, it it wouldn't wouldn't work, it, it, and you wouldn't be as cool of a person. You would sound like Iron Man. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to jump in this conversation. It it does. It does when it's on the bike. When it's final. When when it's all set up, 
and everything's working right on Shimano, it will work better. It will. Sh it's not. It's well, not that it works better. It shifts. Better. It shifts more. It shifts more precise. This, this video would have been a lot longer. One hundred percent would have been a lot longer. The bike would have been stupid looking. It was still had. They're, they're claiming wireless, and it has wires still. There's a kit. There's a battery inside the seat. <laughs> I mean, there's so many reasons that that I like SRAM more than I like Shimano. Does, when everything's on the bike, after it's being built and everything's done, does Shimano shift a little more precise than SRAM? Yes, it does. Does it shift a little faster? Yes, it does. But that small amount of difference, to me, doesn't justify all the other stuff that you have to do to go through. In conclusion, in conclusion, the bike could be lighter. We are going through a race on these bikes. All right, here's our raffle for tonight, guys. We're going to be giving away this to whoever comments right now. Because <laughs> look the reflector. So, go you. for S Works Reflectors. S Works Reflectors. Thank you. If anybody needs S Works Reflectors, he has, he has some to give out. Oh, another thing that is really cool about these bikes nowadays is Shimano, I mean, specializes in sending all their bikes with. Um, with power meters. Yep. Dave, stop being picky on my bike. Dave is the most picky person I know. He literally comes and messes with my bikes. He, I have to literally tell him to leave my bikes alone. Like he will, I will catch him positioning my cranks while they're in the room after I ride my bike. And I'm like, dude, it's just sitting there. He can't let things, everything has to be perfect for him. That's fine, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. But, um, all right, so tubeless tires. I went tubeless. So, what do you think the difference is in weight in tubeless? Quarter pound. Oh yeah. Quarter pound, right? We'll say quarter pound overall. And uh, yeah, that's so the difference in price. Because, in my opinion, right now, theoretically, if we went and rode these bikes, we could ride ride them blindfold. Would you be able to tell the difference between your bike and mine? I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. I don't think only if they had Shimano or Shimano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd be able to tell the difference between those. We're gonna weigh this a lot of times too. But uh, but um, you know, I, I think so for especially because it has the same shot. Yeah, yeah. Same handlebars, same right. shot, same shape shifters. Right. Right. Um. I don't think I don't think I would. would you be able to notice that pound pound work or even the even like in my case since I'm colorblind even if we cover the letters right but until we pick one and we're not going to tell you to the I could I could 100 pick which one just by being blindfolded and picking them up really oh yeah I could tell that that's like 100 I could tell that that was like you know what I mean by picking them up yes I can tell the difference in in the weight but I I doubt if while you're on the bikes and riding them, could you tell the difference between the the S Works and the Pro? I don't think you could. I don't think you'd be able to do it. Maybe maybe a year into riding them, you might be able to tell the difference because I think the red's going to still shift better than the force. Are the rims the same? Um, same width. Same, same width. width. Um, if you look at the lacing on them, they're completely different though. This one is a two cross, actually one, two, two cross uh, non-drive side where that's a radial. It doesn't have as many spokes in it. Right. So you're, it's going to be lighter that way. Radials tend to give you a stiffer, a stiffer wheel. When you're when you're riding it, you, you tend to feel uh, bumps and stuff more. But with these big old tires that we have, I mean, those are meat. Those are meaty tires. Dave, you're on camera. Me too. <laughs> um, if you want, wait, wait. wait. So these <laughs> these are these are these are big chunk. These are chunk boy, chunky boys. Yes. I think they. I think that. I think those forties are gonna fit, man. I think so too. Forty twos. I think they're gonna fit, man. Is that what you order, forty twos? Yeah. Wow. They're like like little mountain bike tires. I think that's gonna be too big. You think it's going to be too big? 42s. That's the 42 we, pros. We can find out. That's, if that's what they're racing. That's those guys are racing. I'm going to buy 40 and 
Uh, it, it said, oh, well, that's the thing. On the website, on the website, it says it's good for a forty. Good for a forty, yeah. But that, that, yeah, that, that, they're giving you, they're, they're giving you, they're generally being uh, right on the conservative side, right. So you're not going to damage your brain, uh, dude. I had, I have thirty two on my SX six, um, and it had like less than a quarter of states. So, uh, um, Andrew Strohmeyer went on a gravel ride with us on his S S Works SL seven. He threw 30 millimeter tires on that right. and, and did gravel with us on his SL7 and had no issues. Well, so I don't, you want to call it? I think that's it. That's it. So we're gonna we're gonna be doing a handful of upgrades on the yeah. bikes, right? So we're doing tires, we're doing some, oh, some smaller some smaller things on it. Handlebars. Um, you're gonna go handlebars, I'm doing tires, and you're doing tires, I believe. I'm doing tires as well. Um, we have a handful of things that we're going to be changing out on the bikes. So ceramic coating. Do you want to do that? We're going to do. We're going to do ceramic coating. I'm probably not going to do it tonight. Okay. But um, that takes a really cleaning the bikes really good, wiping them down with alcohol really good. Okay. And then uh, putting the ceramic coating on, and that's just going to repel all mud, dirt, and stuff like that. So when it's time to wash them, we just spray them off with the hose, wipe them down, and they're good to go. Okay. Um, it's worth it. I didn't know if it would be worth it, but I've done it on the last like my last three bikes. And it's so it works so good. Uh, we can do we can do a follow up video of our first ride. You're doing your first ride on. I'm doing my first ride Sunday. Fingers crossed due to the weather. And, and then uh, we can come back and do another video. Of okay, sounds good. All right, guys, thanks so much. Cool guys, thanks guys. That was two hours. <laughs> <laughs>